Hi, it's Tony from TonyEvrard.com and I'm sitting here in my lounge today with the aircon on because it is stinking hot outside and it ties in with what I'm going to talk about which is contrast. Now, I love the theory of contrast and uh, positive and negative and you know, I believe that the world works in a balance. So for every negative, there is a positive and they balance each other out. And the same with contrast. Um, so for instance, like I'm sitting inside in the aircon today because it is stinking hot outside. It's 39 degrees, which is, you know, pretty hot. And uh, in contrast, I'm sitting here in the cool, which is really amazing. And, and it, having one to the other, really you know being outside being stinking hot really makes you appreciate being cool but when it's winter and it's cold you know it really makes you appreciate the summer and it goes for a lot of different things so i know um you know a lot of desire is born from contrast so you know i've also been someone who's my weight has gone up and down quite a lot over the years i'm generally managed to maintain a healthy weight now but there's been a time in my life where i've carried an extra probably 10, 15 kilos more than what I do now. And um, it's not until I got to that place and felt so unhappy with myself that it really, you know, sort of spurned the desire in me to want to do something different. So feeling really fat and unhealthy and, and horrible, you know, to that extreme made me want to really follow through in some actions and getting healthy. And, you know, you can say the same with relationships. You know, I'm divorced. I've had a few relationships that have ended. And, you know, it's really easy to sort of get into the mindset of that, oh, you know, he did this and he did that and, you know, all these things happened to me. But the fact is, I really believe that I attracted a lot of that to, to me because that's where I was um, at that point in time. But having gone through those relationships, it's really given me contrast as to what it is I would prefer. In a relationship which I didn't really ever know before I didn't really have a clear image in my mind of what sort of relationship I would want to have and so I ended up in these relationships that weren't necessarily that good for me or the other person but you know whatever happened in those situations and like anything these relationships don't sort of end with you going oh touch out for now you know you can have some really horrible stuff happen at the end but that contrast you can use to really redesign what it is that you want and once you can see what it is that you want you've got so much better chance of achieving it so you know for me being overweight really made me feel unhappy and really launched that desire for me to be healthier so it was a lot easier for me to get back to being healthier but you know when the contrast is smaller so like now if i just want to lose a couple of kilos i find it a lot harder than if i suddenly put on five kilos because that contrast is what really launches my desire so you know and this ties in as well with uh, i saw oprah last night which was amazing and she was talking about she said everything that has ever happened to you has happened for you so it's a similar sort of thing whatever it is that you think that you've been through there's something has come out of that. There's some kind of learning experience in that. It gives you contrast. It puts you in a place where you want to learn something different, that you want to learn something better, to do better, to be better. And uh, so, you know, that's just a message I wanted to get out to you people today. Um, and it's just, just keep that in mind. It's like, you know, sure, some really bad shit happens at times, but you can always then grow from that you can move on from that you can do better things you can feel better because you have that contrast of where you don't want to be and then you can form the desire of where you do want to be so i hope that's helped someone today and you might be able to relate to this i'd love you to drop a comment and, and let me know your own experiences as well but um yeah that's what i wanted to share today so i hope you're all staying cool wherever you are and um have a wonderful weekend bye